Hey there, Cancer, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your weekly reading. In this reading, we're going to take a look at past, present, and near future energies, as well as any energies the universe wants you to keep in mind this week, Cancer. Also, please remember, if someone is strongly energetically connected to you, they may show up in your reading, so take the energies as they resonate. They may be reversible between you and your person. Okay, Cancer, the main energy that you're going to be dealing with this week is the King of Wands. You're feeling very confident, very attractive, very assertive. Like, you got it. You got it. Let's take a look. In the recent past, you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Star, and the Ace of Cups. You're showing up very stable, very much like, I've got everything I need. I'm good. I'm single. I'm independent. I'm focusing on me. Now, with the Star and the Ace of Cups here, what that's telling me is that you want a new beginning in love. Either you want love in general, you're attracting love into your life, or you want a new beginning, a brand new beginning in love with someone specific. The reason I say that is because in the current situation, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Empress. You want to balance out the energies between you and this person, which has a very special place in your heart, which means a whole heck of a lot to you. It may be a Virgo for some of you, um, or someone that has Virgo in their chart. In the near future, you get the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Justice. Again, somebody you're very attracted to, you want to balance out the energies, you want to make them fair, you want stability. Now, what's interesting, you go from the Six of Pentacles in the current situation to the Justice. The Justice is the major arcana of the Six of Pentacles, basically. And so what that's telling me is your desire to balance things out, to make things fair with this person in you, the energies between the two of you, is intensifying. Let's take a look. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take the one that flipped over. Two more for the Nine of Pentacles in the recent past for Cancer. Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands, the Death, and the Eight of Pentacles. You're showing up as single. You're showing up as independent. But you're showing up as having a hard time with the fact that something here ended because you still wanted to work on whatever this is. This could be a connection. This could be a job, whatever it is. There's something here that you still have the energy in the recent past. You're like, I still want to work on this. I still want to make this work, but it ended. So there's a little bit of a difficult time for you there where you're like, ah, oh, man, I'm not done with this energetically, but in the 3D world, it's showing up as done. Let's take a look at the star in your recent past. The star is clarified by the four of wands, the star again, and the two of wands. You really want this. You really want whoever this person is that you have a bond with. It's like your heart, your soul, your mind, everything is like, universe, I want this. Um, with the two of wands, though, I don't see you making anything happen. I don't see you doing anything to make this really strong bond that you have with this person happen. It's almost like you're just kind of sitting back and you're like, I'll just wait. I'll wait for the right time. Maybe tomorrow I'll decide to do something. Yes, yes, I really want this. I want this so bad. It's like I'm in the middle of the desert and there's a cup of water and that's how badly I want this. But I'm not going to do anything. Let's take a look at the Ace of Cups in your recent past. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, which you get again in your current situation, the Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. You want a new beginning with this person. You want to balance out the energies. You want equal give and take between you and this person. Now, the thing is, I also see you not letting yourself get too emotionally invested or too emotionally attached to this desire that you have because you're afraid of experiencing the pain of separation again. You and this person are not together. You're broken up. And I feel like in the near future, or sorry, in the recent past, um, you're wanting this you really have this intense desire but you're also afraid of letting yourself get too emotionally invested into this in case it doesn't work out again in case this person abandons you again in case this person hurts you again in case you have to go through the pain of losing them and this connection again <sighs> it sucks um let's take a look at the six of pentacles in your current situation Six of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Devil, and the Six of Swords. Okay, I see you slowly opening up to this person. You're taking very small steps towards expressing how you feel, letting this person know that you still carry feelings, trying to balance things out. It's almost like you're kind of testing the waters, you know, um, with the end goal of making things feel right, making things feel fair, making things feel equal, give and take between you and this person. Now, what's interesting, though, 
is that as you're doing this, as you have this energetic desire to open up to this person, your fear kicks in again. You're like, oh, but this isn't going to work out. Oh, but you know, they left me before they're going to leave me again. The devil to me is also all about limiting beliefs, fears, insecurities. And so the second you're like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to reach out to them. You're like, oh, but it's not going to work out. And then I just see you giving up. You just kind of being like, ah, forget it. This, this isn't, I'm just going to give up on this. I'm going to walk away. <sighs> Let's take a look at the hermit. This is a really intense desire though. So I see whoever this is, you or your person having a hard time continuously giving up, continuously stopping themselves from this. Because the six of pentacles shows up twice. It's in the recent past. It's in the current situation. You really have an intense desire to make things balanced between you and this person. Let's take a look at the hermit in your current situation. Nope, don't like how that felt. Hermit is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the World, and the Three of Wands. I feel like deep down, you know that this person, the connection that you and this person had, was stable. It had stable potential. But it's also coming to an end, or it came to an end at some point in the recent past. And I see that cycle closing out. And after that cycle closes out between you and this person, because again, I feel like you're kind of giving up. I don't see you making any moves, honestly. You have this immense desire to make something happen. You almost feel pulled in this direction to do something, but you keep, we, we all have free will, right? You keep being like, okay, no, I'm just going to give up. No, I'm not going to do this. No, I'm going to walk away from my desire. And so deep down, I see you realizing like, yeah, this did have potential. This did have some stability to it. It could have been something long-term, but it's over, but it's done. And that just sends you into a cycle of just waiting. You're just kind of waiting. Again, I don't see you doing anything. I don't know what exactly you're waiting for because there's a lot of waiting here, but you would know. Let's take a look at the Empress in the current situation. Empress is clarified by the hangman, the chariot, and the three of pentacles. Okay, so remember how I said you're waiting, you're waiting, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for the energy to feel good. You're waiting for you to feel empowered and step into your energy. The chariot is you, and you also get the king of wands as the main energy for your reading this week, which is all about feeling empowered, confident, dominant. And so all that waiting, I see that coming to an end, and you finally deciding to be like, okay, okay, I'm going to make a move. Now, the way you're showing up here, Cancer... You're not showing up with, oh, I feel so much for you. Oh, I want to express how I feel. No, you're showing up as friends. You're like, hey, you, how you been? You want to grab a coffee? Now, the reason you're showing up is this. This person means a whole lot to you. They're showing up as the empress, which is like all that in a bag of chips as far as you're concerned. But you're showing up as friends because you're trying to rebuild the trust. You're trying to see if you can trust this person, if they can trust you to rebuild that solid foundation because there was pain. The ending, whatever ended between the two of you, that hurt both you and this person. So that's why you're showing up under the friend guys, because you're like, eh, let's test the waters. Let me see if this is if this is safe. If I can like, you know, fully open up. Let's take a look at the Ten of Pentacles in your near future. Ten of Pentacles is clarified by the King of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Tower. Yeah. This stability that you've been longing for comes in in the near future. At least energetically it's available, but I feel like it's also coming in in the 3D world. You have a lot of pentacles here, which is bringing you immense happiness. Now this could be within this connection. I feel like it isn't within this connection, but for some of you, this could also just be your job. So if you haven't been doing so great financially, in the near future, I see that, that financial stability coming in for you. And it's bringing in a lot of happiness and it kind of comes out of nowhere. It's like you weren't really even expecting this to happen. Um, whether it's a connection or, you know, um, financially. Let's take a look at the Queen of Wands in the near future. Queen of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, the Temperance, and the Justice. Remember how I said you wanted to balance things out, balance things out, balance things out? In the near future, I see you finally taking action, making an offer, communicating with this person, and letting them know, hey, you know, let's heal this. Let's balance out the energies. Let's make things feel good between you and I. This has also been a long time coming because as you can see, from your recent past to the current situation, all you keep focusing on is let's balance things out. Let's bring back balance. But you haven't taken any action. In the near future, I see you finally deciding to take action because you just feel like magnetically drawn to this person. It's almost like you can't fight fight the intensity of this connection. And you get the justice again in your near future. So let's clarify the justice in your near future, closing out this reading.
The justice is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Five or the Five of Cups. I'm sorry, and the Five of Swords. Okay, the way you're approaching this justice, and this could be you, this could be your person. I'm not sure who this is. You would know, but the way somebody here is approaching is approaching balancing out these energies and making things feel fair is from a logical perspective. They're not accessing their emotions here. So what they're doing is they're like, oh, you did this, I did this. There we go. Negative, negative. It cancels each other out. Or, you know, oh, I hurt you, well, you hurt me too. And so if I hurt you and you hurt me, then that balances it out. And that's not really how you can bring back balance into the situation. It's almost like a quid pro quo, where it's like, you hurt me six out of 10, I hurt you six out of 10, okay, we're even. And it's like, no, you need to let the emotions come to the surface. You can't, whoever's telling themselves that this is the way to bring back fairness and bring back balance is lying to themselves in the near future. It's almost like not even like a childish because this person genuinely feels like, oh, we don't need to look at, at the, the pain from the past um, from an emotional perspective. If we approach this logically, we'll totally resolve this. And it's like, well, no, you won't. Um, so just keep that in mind if this is you, Cancer. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this week. From the universe, you get the lovers, the nine of wands, the judgment. You're realizing the intensity of this connection. I feel like that's what's pushing you to finally take action because you can't deny the intense connection that you have with this person any longer. You're coming to this realization. You're understanding just how deep, just how strong, just how powerful you and this person have, the bond that you have. Now, I don't see you really wanting to admit it. You're almost kind of like resisting it or you're like, nah, it's not that intense. But eventually you come to the realization of you're like, yeah, this person means a whole hell of a lot to me. And that's what finally drives you to take action in the current situation. So Cancer, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it resonated, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you here for your reading next week. Bye Cancer.